So this is the performance between WiMAX and WiMAX. The top uh, chart is with dividends reinvested. The bottom uh, chart is with dividends with, uh, not reinvested. This is uh, representing a $10,000 investment since inception in each of one of these funds. See in the top with dividends reinvested, your total return on WiMAX was 20% and your total return on WiMAX was 9%. Uh, so a starting investment would have got you $12,060 on YMAG and $10,938 on YMAX at the end of the investment. YMAG, YMAX on the below chart is with dividends not reinvested. So your return would have been $11,901 on a $10,000 investment on YMAG. And in a YMAX, it would have, you would have ended up basically at $10,925. So YMAG is definitely crushing... Uh, why max, especially with dividends reinvested, it's up. Uh, analyzed gain on that is thirty point five seven percent, as opposed to Y max being at thirteen point nine one percent. So I had to close a few months ago my Y max puts. They were kind of underwater, and I decided to get out. I saw, I saw the writing on the wall; it was underperforming Y mag. And I kind of wish I had uh, more YMAG puts, but I closed a percentage of them. I kept six alive, and I kind of wish I'd kept them all alive. It came out pretty good. Anyway, overall, uh, of all the synthetic type of option strategy ETS, uh, of any of the ones that Yomax has, long term, I think I'd only want to stick with YMAG. The other ones, the single stock ones, you got to catch the momentum right on the underlying in order to really have a good chance of profiting on them. Uh, they're not really long-term holds in my opinion. All right, guys, take care. Bye.